Hey guys, in this video, let's learn the pandas concat join inner versus outer. So what would happen if you put inner parameter and when you use outer parameter. Now if you follow the pandas concat documentation, here you have something called join parameter. Now by default, it uses outer. But what would happen if you use inner? That is something we are going to see. Now for this, you need few data frame. It is a pretty simple data frame. I'm going to pass both of this data frame in the description of the video so that you don't have to type it. It will become easy. So now if I'm going to print this data frame one, this data frame is simple. It contains a A column. It contains a B column and A column contains one, two, three and the B column contains four, five, six. So if you print this, what would happen? A column, B column has appeared. The same way I have created another data frame okay let me paste it here so both of these data frames are available in the description of the video please do you can copy paste that now if i am going to run this what is happening i got 7 8 9 10 11 12 so bc now if you look at both of these data frames what is common is the b column there is a column which has the same name called b however the values are different if you see here 4, 5, 6 is there, here 7, 8, 9 is there. Rest A and C are individual columns, but B is a common column. Now what this join parameter will do, let me show you. Now for this, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use pd.pandas. So ensure, uh, now before you get started, ensure you have imported pandas, okay? Import pandas as pd. Now I'm going to use this PD alias and say concat and then within the square bracket I'm going to write data frame 1 comma data frame 2. Now if you do this, if you run this, what would happen? The output would appear something like this. You have a A column, you have a B column and C column. So it has done a concatenation. However, the B column data if you see a column until 3 it is there and then rest of it it is nan nan and for the b 4 5 6 7 8 9 right so if you compare this it has got 4 5 6 7 8 9 so now if you see in one column all the values got concatenated and for the c column the upper value is nan and the lower value is there okay so one below the other the table has been mapped concatenating the b column this is the simple format. Now, what is the use of join? Let me show you. Simply write join and then say equals to. By default, it uses outer. If, even if you don't write it, by default as per the documentation, if you see join, default is outer. By default, it works like that. So when you run this, this is how the output comes. Now, what would happen if I'm going to say inner? What would happen if I'm going to say inner and run this? Now, what happened? It has excluded A, C and kept only the common column. It's like, it's more like inner join. I mean, in both of the data frame, what is common, it is going to keep it, rest, it is going to eliminate that. So if you see in both the data frames, B is the only column which has the same name. So it has kept that only column which has the same name and all the values have been kept. Okay. So now just to, uh, show you the difference what is the difference between the outer so when you say outer this includes all the columns from both the data frames in the result okay if a column exists in one data frame but not in the other right for example here we saw right when we did the did the outer join What we saw, A column is there in the first data frame, but not there in the second data frame. So what would happen? It is it puts NAN. So in the explanation, if you see, if a column exists in one data frame, but not in the other, it will be filled with NAN values. Getting it? Now, what is inner join? Inner join means this only includes columns that have the same name in both the data frames in the result. Now, when you do inner, you only get the common 
column which has the same name in both the data frames so if you see b has come so i hope you have got the understanding of a difference between the inner and outer join in the concat function of pandas if you are able to understand this video please do comment yes so that you know it will be it will be good to know that people are able to understand from my contents so please do comment thank you guys for watching it we are going to meet once again in the next content till then take care bye bye